Hey everybody, welcome back to Hockey Bar. It is the 19th of February, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in today, so let's get right started. So, today's top news, um, Jake Vertanen, he's a good forward for the Canucks, one of their better scorers, is unfortunately going to be injured for a couple of weeks. He uh, fractured his ribs in a game uh, last Wednesday. Uh, he was evaluated recently, and it's determined that he's going to have to miss a couple games. So... I don't know if that's the biggest hit on the Canucks. Uh, they have Besser and Patterson, obviously, as their better scorers than Vertanen. But Vertanen's young, so this is kind of a young gun thing. They kind of want him back. Uh, so now moving on to our second news story, uh, Patrick Eves, who's a, been a longtime player. He's been in the league for, I think, over over 10 years now. I remember he played. Uh, and I think he started his career with the Devils and he went to the Red Wings. Uh, Predators, Stars, and now the Ducks. Uh, he was actually put on waivers today by the Ducks. Uh, so, unfortunate for him. He hasn't been playing a lot this season. Uh, he's only recorded seven games, and he's gotten zero points to show for it. And he has a plus minus and negative four, so his stats are not there. Uh, I don't know if it's how old he is. I don't know if that's pulling uh, the strings here. But uh, Eves is definitely a veteran player. I mean, he hasn't had the chance, really, to suit up and prove himself too much, so I don't know if the Ducks are just trying to clear house, trying to figure something out uh, to get out of the slump. They've been in for months. Uh, this might be one ticket. Now, I actually thought about this a little bit, and I couldn't. There's three teams that I see him going to. I don't know why this is in my brain, but I just thought about it after I heard the news. And I think he would work well uh, with the Wild because they've got a lot of veteran guys on their lines. Uh, he would just add to that. Uh, the Blackhawks, because the same thing. And I don't know why I get the feeling he would return to the Red Wings. Uh, there's really no no rationale for it, because the Red Wings are more uh, working for young guys. Uh, as we've seen, their success is usually judged by how uh, the young guys are doing. Uh, but I don't know why I can see it working. Uh, they got veteran guys, too, like Cronwall and Vanek. So maybe he could work with them. So now moving on uh, past news. Our game to watch tonight is between the Maple Leafs and the Blues. So, uh, Maple Leafs haven't won a cu couple in a while. Uh, they kind of were in a deflating loss to the uh, Coyotes on Saturday. Uh, so, they're going to try to figure something out and pick up the pieces. And it's not exactly the best team because uh, unlike what... Or I don't think I would have been saying this months and months ago. It's two months ago, I would never have been saying this, but... The Ducks are definitely, or I mean, not the Ducks. The Blues are definitely a threat uh, that the Maple Leafs are going to have to watch out for. They've won 10 in a row. Uh, their goalies had uh, eight straight wins, I believe. So uh, the Maple Leafs are going to have to work extra hard because their defense isn't great. And uh, the Blues are definitely uh, in a scoring position every night. So now moving on to stats, we got a lot to change uh, here. So Nikita Kucherov had a great five-point night. Last night, uh, he was responsible for all five goals. Uh, he had a hand in every single one. So, he has 99 points on the season. One shy of hitting the 100 mark, which is very impressive in itself. But there's still two months of the season to go. So, he's definitely uh, going to be leading that contention, contention uh, very shortly. So, um, he picked up three assists. So, now he's at 70 assists on the season. Very good. He got two goals. Uh, but another guy that got two goals was Alex Ovechkin. So now he's sitting at 42. So not only did he reach the 40 threshold, but the next game he hits two. And then uh, Mark Giordano's plus minus also went up two. Uh, and now he's sitting at plus 30. So goalies, it hasn't changed yet. Uh, Robin Lehner still a 208 goals against average. And teammate Thomas Grice had a 93 save percentage. And Marc-Andre Fleury, unfortunately, lost again. Uh, got shut out. I think he allowed five. So, not great, but he, he's he been working hard, and eventually he's going to pay off. He's also still leading with six shutouts. He's actually tied now after last night. Uh, Andre Vasilevsky, the Lightning, is tied with him at six now. So, uh, Fleury's going to have to fight to contend for that uh, seed. So now that that's out of the way, I want to thank you guys for tuning in again. I really appreciate this ongoing support. If you're new to the channel, though, we do upload every day. 
So if that's something you're interested in, do hit the subscribe button. It'll mean a lot. I want to thank you guys again for tuning in. We'll see you next time.